Hi, welcome. Today's project is really exciting. We are going to build our very own mini ITX computer. As, as this is on a budget and really easy to build, it really is for anyone that needs power and affordability. And it really looks awesome. I got my hands on an empty Xbox One shell and there will be a link in the description for this like everything else. I also grabbed the matching controller for this. To power this build, I picked up a Solid Gear 320 watt power supply and this will be plenty. The APU that I decided on is a Ryzen 3 2200G, the 3200G, 2400G and 3400G would also be perfect depending on your budget. First we can remove the stock cooling fan as clearance doesn't allow for it. I got a low profile fan that I had lying around from an old GPU and it does a really good job on this APU. But any other low profile cooler would work just as good. I got these female connector wires and soldered them to the fan. We can then get some double sided tape and stick the fan to the heatsink and plug the connectors into the CPU header. For storage, I went with a 256 GB M.2 SSD, as they are very closely priced to a normal SSD and the space saving is a total win, I had to pick this up. We can install the drive on the bottom of the motherboard in the M.2 slot. Only thing left now is the RAM. I got two sticks of 8GB ballistics 266MHz modules. You can get away with two 4GB modules to get 8 gigs of RAM in total as long as it's dual channel because these Ryzen APUs really do so much better with it. We can slot them in and firmly press down until you hear a click. Don't be afraid to use some force here. I got some PCB pillars with screws and washers for the motherboard. We can then get our bottom plate out and place our motherboard in the back right hand corner. Now we can get our PCB pillars and screws and screw them into place. Once that is done, we can fit our back plate, which I then temporarily secured with a mouse dongle. 
We can now drop a blob of glue on each of our PCB pillars to secure them onto the bottom plate. With the motherboard complete, we can then place our power supply into its new home. As the motherboard backplate doesn't cover the entire back, we will need to use a piece of original backplate of the Xbox. I then cut it off for the power supply plug to fit in. This can be easily done with a saw blade. Alternatively, you can just score a groove with a knife and then just break it on the line. With it done, we can then install it onto the power supply. We can get some double sided tape and secure the power supply to the bottom plate as well. We can now plug our 24 pin connector followed by our 4 pin connector for the CPU. I got this button from a computer tower case that I had lying around and glued it into the power button. I then got this RGB light kit and it includes a controller Searching for a longer day People feeling like a remote has just come and really important this barrel to solder power connector Again, I used some double-sided tape to stick this to the inside of the case, as shown.
I wanted some more USB ports, so I got this USB 3 cable for the open front port. This needed some sanding down to fit, as it didn't fit flush to the hole. And after a bit of sanding, I blobbed some glue and stuck it down. That's all the internals done. We can now connect all the ports and close the case. And there we go, time to hit the lights. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping to a life Life is happy but it's so we must merely make a strive Savannah I'm coming home Savannah We'll never be alone This has been one of my favorite builds I've done in my life If you guys need any help with your build Please feel free to ask anything down in the comments I'll try to answer every single one of them Now we can get to some game benchmarks. First up is FIFA 19, where we got a solid 60 FPS or higher on a high settings at 1080p. Lions gone and come. The birds have just begun. We will always take a step. I then tested Forza Horizon 4 and this is one of the more demanding games for this system. We definitely held or got higher than 40 FPS on low settings at 1080p. This is definitely still so much fun, especially with it being portable. With the low power draw of this APU, I've managed to play games on the plane with a portable monitor and the experience was amazing. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share and consider subscribing as I'm going to be building even more exciting projects in the future.